Maori warrior masks. The Maori are an indigenous people in New Zealand who used to carve out masks and statues prior to heading into battle. According to the Maori belief system, any man who died in battle would leave his soul behind in one of the warrior masks. While the curse of the masks poses no threat to other men, women who are pregnant or currently menstruating are said to be cursed with harm or bad luck if they even get near one. An English museum even posted a warning to women to let them know about the curse. Koh-i-Noor Diamond The Koh-i-Noor Diamond is an impressive 109 carats, but it also comes with a hefty curse. If you're a man, while it brings good luck to any female owner, the diamond has brought strife and violence to men who've had it in their possession since it was supposedly stolen from the god Krishna. For example, Sher Shah Suri of India was a powerful emperor, who defeated Prince Humyun. After getting his hands on the Koh-i-Noor diamond, he died in a cannon explosion. His son, Jalal Khan, was then murdered by his own brother-in-law. Terracotta Army. In 1974, a group of seven Chinese farmers uncovered an astonishing archaeological treasure, an army of terracotta soldiers beneath the ground. However, while the discovery leads to riches for the nation, the farmers who found the terracotta army were doomed to debt and unfortunate circumstances. Three of the farmers died within a few decades, relatively young, one of his own hand. The remaining farmers were re-signed to work, for lowly wages selling figurines of the army, and riddled with debt and medical ailments. Crying Boy Painting The Crying Boy is a print of a painting often hung in homes in England. Beginning in the 1980s, fires began erupting in the homes, where the painting was present. Surprisingly, while the home and belongings around the painting would be burned to the ground, the painting was always found untouched by the flames. As a result, many people believe that hanging this work of art in your home may invite a fire. Delhi Purple Sapphire The curse of the Delhi Purple Sapphire was brought to light when the curator of a London museum uncovered the stone, with a note attached about its curse, as early as the mid-1800s, when the stone was originally looted from an Indian temple, the stone brought poor health and financial troubles to its owner. For instance, when author Edward Heron Allen owned the gemstone, he had so many unfortunate things happen in his life that, he threw it into a canal, only to have it returned, after a drudger found it and knew that he was the owner. He eventually sent it to the museum with the instructions that no one should touch it until three years after his death.